guys let's take a look at everything i've got everything set up that i have that i own in my lawn care business so this is the the full 2022 truck trailer and tools setup that i've got this year so uh for you guys that follow the channel you've already seen uh the truck so this is just a 1500 uh, chevy silver silverado work truck single cab inside of it uh it's got the towing package on it i had a guy ask me uh you know can you haul your trailer with uh your enclosed trailer with this truck you know as a how's it pull and stuff and it, it pulls just fine it's got uh i hadn't had no issues with it it doesn't sag or anything so that's the truck we have this uh homemade uh tarp system that i've got on here i just uh this actually is a is a cloth painter's tarp and we do that because if you look under here we've got clippings under here and we're we're bagging a lot of clippings right now because of the we're taking these uh dormant bermuda lawns down and it's you just got to get all that uh, old grass cut off so we're we're bagging a lot of properties and i needed to come up with some way to uh to keep this from blowing out all over and and i did have some guys wondering if you know if it comes off does it come off hasn't came off yet these are just tarp straps that i bought i think at walmart i've got some bungees on there oh and i can go ahead and show you this part of the truck too we do have a load handler so whenever i get to the to the dump site when i get to the dump site we've got the load handler and this one this is the lh the lh 3000 and I got this, I think, directly from their site. They do make different models of these, and there's cheaper ones out there. But I didn't want to go with the cheap one because I didn't want it to break. And this one's held up so far. What I like about the load handler is we can pull up to the dump. We set this the tailgate down, and this this bar spins. So when I've got uh, when I've got the tailgate down, everything just falls right off the edge. Now, if you've got, you know, your, your fender wells and stuff that are in here, if you've got too much of a load on it, now it will get hung up and it'll pull right out from underneath whatever you've got loaded up. So what we do and what I've started to do now is I'll just get up there with a shovel and clean out a little bit and take some of that weight off of this area and some of the weight off of this area and, um, and everything comes out just fine it's it's better than getting up in there guys and having to do the whole thing <laughs> you know and dump out the whole bed by shovel or by your hands or rake or whatever all right let's move right along here all right this is a uh seven by 14 enclosed trailer uh two 3500 pound axles on it We've got our uh, our graphics and logo and everything put on it. Inside, excuse the mess, guys. I just uh, sweeped everything up. We've got the uh, version three green touch uh, blower racks. We've got the uh, rack for our cooler. Uh, and these are shelves that I just bought over here at Ace Hardware across the street. And I just screwed them into the floor and into the wall of the trailer. It's all I need. Just needed a place to put some stuff. Uh, here's where we keep our uh, hand tools. Actually, these are holding up. These are holding up well. Now, now, they do spread apart. These are just shelving brackets, guys, that I bought over at Ace Hardware across the street. Uh, did a little finagling with them use my head a little bit see what I could come up with and they hold just fine uh, I just did it because it was uh, the cheapest thing at the moment for me to do and I wanted to see if it worked it worked uh, I've got a video up on those uh, I've done those probably a month 
month. Well, it may be even longer than that now. Maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, we've got the uh, sure cans with the uh, green touch holders for those. And I know some of you guys, I've had guys comment and say they like equipment defender better. I, I don't know nothing about them, to be honest with you. Um, I, I just got these green touch because uh, I had watched videos of them online and I like the color of them. Now, are these faded? Yeah, they're faded, but I had them on my open trailer for the first year and a half, and that's why they faded. They say the green, uh, the uh, equipment defenders don't fade. I don't know. Uh, so here's the weed eater and uh, trimmer rack. I just got two. I got two uh, two trimmers, and we just keep the other, the edger, in the floor. And uh, this rack right here is for my uh, weed sprayer. So that's the trailer. That's the inside of the trailer. All right, guys, and here's the here's the stuff that makes us the money. Uh, one set of hedge trimmers. These are the uh, HS56 steel hedge trimmers. We've got the Petra Tools HD4000 sprayer. Guys, if you don't uh, follow Petra Tools on Facebook, Instagram, you guys, you need to give them a follow. These, uh, I like these sprayers. I haven't had anything go wrong with it. Uh, other than, other than these, uh, the straps, they haven't broke, but it never stays on. <laughs> so I'm always having to put that back on before I get it off the rack. Uh, and I did break the handle, but it still works. I'll get me a new one. I'll get me a new one sooner or later. Uh, we've got two backpack blowers. We've got the BRX 800 and then the BR 600. I love that. Uh, I love both of them, guys. They both they both run fine. I've had them uh, since August 2019, and actually I've had all this stuff since August 2019 except uh, this one weed eater and obviously the two mowers. But uh, if y'all don't know, we started out. Uh, I went through a couple of different uh, mowers. I've had. Let's see. I started out with a Kubota, a Kubota 48 inch zero turn. Uh, it just wasn't what I needed for the properties around here. And then I went to a walk behind. Uh, it was a, let's see, it was a 36 inch walk behind. And I didn't want to walk all the time. I needed something different. And then, no, I did. it wasn't because I didn't want to walk all the time. It was, uh, it, for, for some reason, it just started not cutting exactly the way I liked. Uh, and I knew that probably that wasn't going to be the answer to all the, the properties that I was mowing. So I just went ahead and traded it. And, uh, and then we went to two, because we mow smaller size properties, I thought, hey, you know, I can push mow uh, less, uh, less money on maintenance easy to train anybody that comes along to help me so i went with two 30 inch push mowers and uh, when i hired my first helper uh, i realized that first season that that wasn't going to work because i mean you've got to be truly motivated to get out here and push mow every day guys but anyway <laughs> that's a that's another story for another day i'll just kind of share how that happened and what we and how we ended up upgrading and why and all that stuff but uh like i said two backpack, backpack blowers uh, we've got we've got the uh, sta uh, straight uh, FC 11 stick edger steel we've got the now this this uh, is the steel KM 131 motor and uh, this is actually the uh, the combi kit you can pull it apart right here and we've got all the attachments. This is an extension rod. Uh, we've got the pole saw attachment, the bed redefiner, and the other edger attachment, and the uh, uh, articulating hedge trimmer attachment that goes on that. And then our other weed eater is the FS94. And man, that thing's lightweight. I love using that little weed eater, and it, it does what we need it to do. That KM131, it's heavy. 
uh, it'll make a man out of you <laughs> after you've used it all day. Uh, I know my stuff's a mess right now. It's been muddy, and I had uh, about 20 bales of pine straw laid up in here on my, my mower and stuff, so it's it's I haven't blown it off or anything. So we've got the uh, the HRX 20, or 217 Honda. That's just, man, we barely, rarely, <laughs> barely, rarely, yeah, we barely, rarely use this thing. Uh, but it comes in handy when we do need it, and it always starts. Uh, so here's our uh, two, two newest mowers. We got the Ferris C1 36 inch stand on mowers. Uh, this mower here is a 2020, and this one here is a 2018. The 2018 has 578 hours on it. And my oh, our 2020 has 21.5. Guys, we've got the accelerator baggers for both of these. Now this one has the quick shoot as well so if you guys are wondering if the quick shoot will go on here with the uh, accelerator grass catcher it will I've got to get one for this mower uh, before we really get into the meat of the season because we're not going to bag everything once the uh, all this Bermuda comes in but guys that's it that's what you're looking at for this season and if anything tires up I'll just go get something else <laughs> guys uh let's get on down the road here and get started work today